This is shocking new video of a police ambush, a man opening fire on officers with an AK-47. The whole thing caught on dash camera video. Three officers were hurt, but survived. CBS 46 is Jamie Kennedy live tonight digging through the video. Jamie, what have you learned? Well, Sean, this is absolutely shocking video, as we said, sort of off the top there. It really gives you a sense of just what police officers face every day, literally staring death in the face. It's chilling dash cam video that shows the moment a wanted man opens fire on Carroll County deputies early Monday morning. He fired multiple times into that windshield uh, with the intent to kill those officers and uh, Corporal uh, uh, Trout and uh, Rapetto done an outstanding job to, just to keep from getting killed, much less to stop the aggression. Corporal Jamison Trout was driving with Deputy Jay Rapetto. They turned onto Whitworth Road and observed Officer Chase Gordy's vehicle with the Villarica Police Department in the roadway. As they approached, they were met by the suspect, identified as Pierce Shelton, who was armed with an AK-47. Pierce Shelton immediately opened fire and struck Deputy Rapetto in the arm. They tell me that the Villarica officer was down. I figured he would have finished him off if he, if he could have, and uh, the Villarica officer was very heroic too. He had been in a gun battle with a handgun against this weapon and had run out of ammunition and was also wounded and had been hit several times. Officer Gordy was released from the hospital on Tuesday and is expected to make a full recovery. Deputy Jay Rapetto is recovering at home and Sergeant Rob Holloway is in the ICU at the hospital but improving daily. And all the officers and their families that have been involved still need prayers and, and anything that you can and good thoughts for them. Now, as we just heard from the sheriff there, they're still asking for prayers for all the officers involved because they're all still recovering from those bullet wounds. The one left at Grady Hospital behind me here is Sergeant Rob Holloway. Now, as we just heard, he's still in a critical condition. He is doing much better. His wife says that his sense of humour has not left him. Hopefully, he makes a speedy recovery soon. Live at Grady Hospital, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.